Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorials, I have taught you as to how we could go ahead and crack different types of passwords, SHA12, SAMD5 and different other things. So in the series on password cracking, I have been attempting to develop your skills in the age old art of password cracking. Although it might seem uh, like a simple and a straightforward exercise, those of you who have attempted password cracking know that there are no uh, simple ways to this art. So in uh, many of our cracking disciples, we have often need uh, to use a word list that will essentially attempt thousands of potential passwords per second. So this is often referred to as a dictionary attack and even though we need not uh, rely solely on dictionary words, these word lists may have any combination of characters and words in an attempt to crack a complex password offline. Sometimes we may have indications of the target choice of password or password components which may come from our knowledge of our target exam normally from our girlfriend or neighbor or friend etc. So these uh, so normal people normally use uh, yeah it's kind of an irony that I'm uh, talking about over here but normal people uh, actually go ahead and use uh, their own name uh, in addition to some characters or some other uh, letters not exactly letters so so it's quite easy to go ahead and guess that. We may also know the organization if we are trying to attack an organization, their password policy exam, minimum 8 characters or uppercase and lowercase etc. So in these cases, we may be able to generate a custom word list that reflects our knowledge of the target or the organization's password policy. Cal Linux has built, in, built it into a tool called as Crunch that enables us to create a custom password cracking word list that we can use with tools such as Hashcat, Kane and Abel, John the Ripper, uh, Aircrack NG and many others. This specific custom word list might be able to save us hours or even days in password cracking if we can craft it properly. So let's, uh, let's get started with crunch and generate some custom word list to crack passwords in our favorite password cracking tool. So let's go ahead and fire up our own Kali Linux and open the terminal and before I proceed with the uh, okay I'll just go ahead and show you the GUI method so you can select Cal Linux over here you can go to the password attacks over here the offline attacks because we are cracking something online and you can go and you over start crunch over here so it does not say much about itself crunch can create word list based on the criteria you specify the output can be sent to the screen file or another program so you say it should be crunch minimum and maximum characters and options and minimum and max are the numbers so please refer to the man page for instructions so we don't actually need to go ahead and uh, uh, use anything so unlike many other hacking applications crunch does not provide us with much info on its opening screen let's say for example if i go ahead and open the se toolkit it will give me a lot of information about itself uh, such as social engineering attack if i go ahead and type 6 i'll get the help exactly okay let's not just follow directory read me okay the md file uh it's i need to go ahead and rename that so i'll just ignore that or if i could just go ahead and type hash cat and i can just go ahead and type health it will show me all the things that hash cat can do or if i type let's say for example evil grade it will give me each and everything that evil grade can do but over here as you can see it does not provide much information about itself so i believe that because Crunch, although relatively is simple to work initially, it has so many sophisticated options that the developer has to put much information in the man pages. So that's why he has not uh, gone ahead and discussed much about it over here. So basic syntax for Crunch looks like you can just go ahead and open uh, the Kali Linux and Crunch type out the minimum and maximum characters and the pattern that would be hyphen T and the output that would be the file name. Now let's go over what's included in this syntax over here. The minimum is the minimum password length, maximum is the maximum password length, character set is the character uh, set to be used in generating the passwords, hyphen T is the pattern that is the specified pattern of the generated passwords. So let's say for example if you knew that your target's birthday was 0728 that's July 28 and you suspected that they used their birthday in their password that's people often use so you could generate a password uh, list that ended with 0728 by giving crunch uh, the pattern such as let's say for example at the rate at the rate at the rate at the rate uh, something like that and uh, 70728 something like that so this word uh, this will generate up to 11 characters or I don't know how much exactly let's me count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so I'll just go ahead and delete 2 perfect 
So this will generate up to 11 characters of password. So 7 will be variable. That means these 7 digits can be anything. Whereas these are fixed because we think that uh, the person may use these uh, 4 digits as uh, per fixed. And it will total as 11 characters in total. And hyphen O over here would be will be the output file. So this is the file that you would want the word list to be written to. So the crunch manual. Let's go ahead and check the crunch manual for that. So I'll just type man and I'll type unch. And this is the how it looks like the crunch manual. I can just go ahead and type view all of these things, but it's extremely long, so I won't be actually going ahead and looking into these things, but if you want to gather a good understanding of what exactly we are doing, then you should actually go ahead and see these things. And I'll just go ahead and type Q to go ahead and quit. So since now you have opened manual pages for crunch, it will look like that. The developers of crunch have packed these pages with a lot of info on how to get the most of crunch. So if you go ahead and I'll just open the crunch once more. So if you go ahead and uh, paste down a bit. Uh, you will come to this page and you can see that if it says that we are at line 21 over here, I'll just go to the line 70. Okay, perfect. So if you see it over here, it will show that hyphen F will go ahead and specify the path and hyphen uh, I will go ahead and invert the output. So example, if I used AAA, then a invert of A is AAA again, if I used AAB, it will go ahead and convert it into BAA and etc and something like that. So here we will tell crunch where the character uh, set period LST is with the full path and then select a particular character set from that list. You don't understand? So I'll sim simplify it for you. In Kali, uh, the character set period LST is at user share rainbow character set list. So I'll just go down and browse it over user share rainbow crack and CHR character period. Okay, this is our file. Just go ahead and display it. This is how it looks like. It's uh, self explanatory, so I don't need to explain that. So, we would be creating some simple word list. So, let's start by generating some simple word list for password crack. Let's assume that we know the company has passwords between four and eight uh, characters. We can generate all the possibilities in crunch by just typing crunch and the numerics that we want. 